Let's face it, we all want to have one code base for mobile, the web and desktop. One way would be to use React Native in combination with Electron. But we all know that Electron is pretty bulky, underperforming and obviously outdated. However, there's one way that will blow your mind, increase the performance and lower the resource consumption. The combination of React or pretty much any framework with Tauri. In this video, I will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a Tauri application and how to launch it on a mobile device. As you might know, Electron is a framework for building desktop applications for multiple platforms with the help of our lovely high-level programming language, JavaScript. That means you do not have to learn a new language to basically create a desktop application. You basically only need JavaScript, right? But a big downside of Electron and JavaScript is, is that the resulting binary size is gigantic and the memory usage of this application is even worse. Just for a plain installer size, the size of the application is around 52 megabytes and consumes over 400 megabyte of RAM. That's just freaking insane. But let's look at some important facts about lovely Tauri. First, it was built in Rust, which means it is fast and secure by default due to the fact that Rust is a low-level programming language which is known for its memory safety and security features. Furthermore, things are just pretty easy to set up. You can start with your application with just one single command. Obviously, beforehand you need to install some dependencies, but overall it's pretty easy to get started. One major advantage of using Tauri is that the app is compiled to a binary, which means you have to be an expert at reverse engineering to be able to basically decompile the app. With Electron, you can unpack the app with a simple npm command. Also, the best things about Tauri is that you can deploy your application to iOS or Android. Just FYI, the deployment to Android or iOS is still in a pre-release stage. But let's just hope that they will make it stable soon. That means that you have one code base and you can deploy it literally everywhere you want. So basically, Tauri has more to offer, is smaller, has better memory usage and you can even use JavaScript. But for all the Rust nerds out there, you can also use a web framework like Laptos, for instance, to leverage the power of Rust in your application. So there's no need to rely on JavaScript for the front end. The only downside is, well, it really depends how you see it, is that you have to learn Rust if you want to enable the inter-process communication between the UI and the backend. On the other side, you will be 100% sure that things will just work in your backend. Now that you know that Tauri is really awesome, let's quickly look at a short setup example on how you could use Tauri for your next project. So like I said before, there are some dependencies you need to install before getting started with Tauri and Rust. So I highly recommend looking at this documentation first and then installing things and then coming back to this video. So for creating a new Tauri project, I will use Cargo. Now obviously you can use PNPM or Yarn for instance. But for now I will just use Cargo, then I will say install and then create Tauri app. Now with that command, we are going to actually install the Create Tauri app CLI, which really enables us to get started quickly with Tauri. So let's create a project with Cargo and then we use the CLI. And now it's really important if you want to deploy things to iOS and Android, we will make sure that we will use this flag here to define the unstable version. Now it is pretty much stable, I've tested it before on iOS and Android, but in the future you will probably do not need this flag to deploy to iOS or Android. After that we are just going to create our Tauri app. I'm going to choose the app name, the app. Then I'm going to use TypeScript and JavaScript. Obviously you could use Rust here as well. Then I'm going to use PNPM. And let's just say I am pretty much up for view and I want TypeScript and then I want to set up the project also for mobile. And now we've basically got a basic project on our desktop. Now let's navigate into this project and then let's just run pnpm install to install the JavaScript and 
TypeScript dependencies here. And after that, we will run pnpm tauri ios init. Now, obviously, you can also use Android here, but just for this video and the simplicity of this video, I'm going to only focus on iOS here. Now, what this does now is basically initialize our project to be capable of running on iOS, which is really powerful. Now, let's just test our Tauri app, right, by just running pnpm Tauri and then dev. Now, this will launch the desktop instance of our project. Now, it first starts the localhost server with Vite and therefore also the Vue.js dev server here. Then it obviously has to compile a lot of Rust dependencies. And there we go. We now have the Tauri desktop application here, which we can obviously resize. Build with Vite, Tauri and Vue.js. And we obviously see this beautiful highlight gradient effect here. Now let's just enter our name just for fun. And there we go. We now see hello Florian. And I think this is the inter-process communication. So this input gets sent to the Rust backend and the Rust backend does something. We are going to take a quick look at the code in a second here. But let's just close this and let's test the application on iOS. Now for that, we are going to just run pnpm tauri iOS dev. And this should now launch the app on a simulator. So let's just say we are going to use the iPhone 11. And there we go. We now got a working mobile app on our simulator here. And it's basically the same thing, right? We only have one code base. However, it now runs in a desktop instance, in the web, on Android, but also on iOS. And the behavior here is the same, right? We can input some things, we can greet ourselves here, and then we get, hello Florian, you've been greeted from Rustback. And this is really powerful, because now we have one code base for deploying it basically to anything you want. Now it's important to know if you really encounter any issues with the iOS deployment here, make sure that you have a valid Apple developer certificate. Now this does not have to be paid, but make sure to register yourself as a developer to the Apple developer servers so that Apple actually knows, okay, this certificate is valid and this developer kind of exists and we trust this developer. And all sort of other issues related to iOS or Xcode, for instance, just Google it and you will definitely find a solution for that. Now, besides that, I also want to recommend reading the core concepts page here of the Tauri documentation, which basically explains what the inter-process communication is, how the Tauri architecture itself works, or for instance, what the security and process model is. Now, let's just quickly look at the code here. Obviously, we have an index.html file, which basically links our VJS or Vue.js application to the index.html file. Then we have all sort of other configs related to TypeScript, Vite, or basically the project itself. Now, the source ordner just contains our simple main.ts file, but it also contains the greet component here, which basically contains again the implementation of the invoke function, which sends a signal to the Tauri backend that we want to greet or call this specific function in Rust, and then Rust returns a result to the client here. Now, if we go back to the source Tauri directory, this directory really contains everything related to our Rust backend. And this is where you can set up your inter-process communication, your permissions, etc. And in here, in this source directory, we have a main.rs file, which just runs the Rust backend. And then we have also the lib.rs file. And he would define with a pretty beautiful macro that this function is a Tauri command that we then can call with the invoke function. Now, and that was pretty much it. Tauri is pretty powerful. Also, Laptops is one of the frameworks you can use in Rust and Tauri. I've also made a shorter video on that while explaining the move keyword in Rust. So feel free to check out this video as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and bye bye.